Hi, Dave Kanicki here with the Farm Equipment Editor's Blog for August 9th, 2011. Just a few weeks ago, we conducted a survey of dealers to see where things stand with the great EGR versus SCR debate taking place among the farm equipment manufacturers. It was a follow-up to the survey we took a year ago on dealers' concerns about introducing exhaust gas recirculation and selective catalytic reduction engine technologies to meet Tier 4 interim requirements. You can read about the survey results in the August issue of Ag Equipment Intelligence. Sometimes the more interesting story comes from the dealer commentary than from the hard numbers. So we asked dealers the open-ended question. What could manufacturers do to help ease your and your customers' concerns about the new engine technologies? Far and away, dealers most often said, educate, advertise, and promote. That is, continue to get the word out about the new engine technologies. Comments included, better public awareness from the manufacturers is needed. Educate the customer through advertising. Develop and distribute educational marketing pieces. The dealer commentary was also rife with frustration, mostly with the contradictory claims coming from the manufacturers. As one dealer put it, we need information to set the record straight for the customer. It does not need to appear as a sales approach. Just the facts, please. Another said, run real-world side-by-side test of tractors using the different technologies and compile maintenance, fuel efficiency, and repair data comparisons. This should be done on a farm and not, not at the Nebraska test labs. They should be done more like the real world tests being done in Europe. Yet another dealer really hit it dead on when he wrote, they need to do fact-based education about the different methods which would apply to all vehicles. Manufacturers tend to put their spin on this, which in this case is wrong. We all know what the dealers are talking about. Their real frustration comes from the confusing claims coming from the manufacturers about the efficiency, maintenance, power, and other assorted benefits of their new engines. When all is said and done, I don't believe any of the manufacturers are misrepresenting the benefits of their new engines. They're simply using selective data as their selling points, which of course is the major contributor to customer confusion. It's difficult at best sorting through all of it. In considering a lot of new farm equipment costs as much or more than the houses we live in, it's no wonder that farmers may hesitate when making buying decisions about something so new. Several dealers suggested that manufacturers could extend the warranties on the new equipment as a way of demonstrating confidence in the technology they're putting out there and to ease customer concerns. But don't hold your breath on this one as long as the market for new machinery remains as strong as it has been, manufacturers don't have to do it. You know and I know the real solution to this challenge, as always, will come down to the dealer. Your customers want you to sort through all of the spin and selective data for them. The better you do it, the more confidence a customer will have in you and the product you're selling. This means you need to know your competitors' products as well as you know your own. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you next time.